So I always love tearing apart stuff. And <clears throat> this is a failure on this Mercedes. And you can see a little metal debris on there. Very little. And they don't have the old piston ring material because actually the whole body itself and the oil film is your ring, your ceiling surface. And you see they do freely move around there. Uh, he said he tried to pour it out and no oil came. What well, you see, I put uh, brake clean in here because I was looking for debris to pour out. Debris did not pour out. And you can see it's dry looking because of the brake clean I put in there. He did not change the condenser. And, um, and I told him if there was debris or it was a black, you should change it. There is your compressor control valve right there and you can see the ports, how on the swedge, right now it's in the neutral position. So when it goes, it's not pumping right now. Unless it's cocked at an angle, it'll make the stroke. If you look on the cylinders, they're scored but they're not, they're not horribly bad, like you'd see some uh, older stuff there. But so this will be a wait and see, because it's a family's car, and he said, yeah, it's good enough, as long as it gets cold. So, there's our valve plate. There's our little itty bitty bearings inside there. So there was no oil came out of the old one. Um, there was no instruction. Actually, now Denso is putting a little QR code for you to go download the instructions. I guess they save money and they know mechanics don't read instructions anyway. So why print them and put them in there? That's wasted money for people who don't read. So they put the QR card. Q Q card, Q code on there on the side of the box. Where's the box? Oh, they have a QR code, and basically you download the same instructions that have been put in there for decades. But the instructions that come with this do not specify whether this new compressor came with or without oil. And as I was telling the technician, you are responsible on every compressor to pour it out, whether it says to or not. And if it has a sticker on there, still don't trust it. Pour it out and prove that it has what it says is in there because you'd be surprised what comes out of some of these compressors or doesn't come out of these compressors when it should come out so we have the old condenser we had a black burnt out compressor and i was really surprised when i put brake clean down there i put it into a clean glass metal particles did not come out of the high side or low side uh, we can see some in the pistons a little bit on the side I know there were some metal particles and some of that coating that's on the pistons is inside the condenser, uh, trapped in some of the passages. So there will be reduced cooling efficiency because a, a couple little block passages. Remember, every one of those refrigerant passages there have many little tubes in them because they have fins. So some of them will be blocked. And when you look at it with a camera, sometimes, Let's see, you come down and they have the block offs where you can kind of see where inside they have a little metal disc and it protrudes on the outside and you can tell where it is. So say, let's say it came in over here, your high side discharge. Some of those particles will pass all the way through the tubes and some will block maybe a little bit here, but what they'll do is they'll hit this other side and they'll congregate at the lower part where the block is for the second pass. It drops down and it goes over. It'll go to the lower part and you look at lower tubes and you might see one, two or three lower tubes are blocked. And on your infrared camera, they'll come up as a blue or black area while everything else is pink or red or orange or white. And then you'll see it go across and it'll drop down again to another point and it comes through, let's say 10 tubes going across, but the bottom tubes are usually the ones where you'll see they're blocked and you'll see another cool line going there. By that time, the condenser has usually filtered out the majority of the particles and you don't see that repeat again, usually. This is not always true. And uh, so this is where I get paid to burn up compressors on purpose, I say, because I'm told, you know, because it's the shop's choice. And this is uh, a family member's car who the highest priority of cleanliness and done right apparently isn't the highest priority. So that's okay because this is a learning experience for me that I get to do 
for the last 40 years, 30 in my own business, where somebody tells me to do something not quite right, and um, and I get to sense it's especially when it's family of theirs, uh, I get to see it come back and see how fast they wear out. It might last a year, two years, three years. So, long story short, new compressor. He poured it upside down. Nothing came out. Old compressor. He poured it outside down, and you've seen it there. There's almost no oil in it. Nothing dropped out at all. You, you couldn't even say there was barely 10 milliliters of oil in the old compressor. Oh, and in fact, somebody on the Facebook HVAC group said, oh, um, oil doesn't travel with compressors. And uh, especially, he says, oil and 134, uh, the oil doesn't cling together. It doesn't go together. And so the oil all stays in the compressor and it doesn't go throughout the system. And this is one of 10,000 times I see where there's no oil in the condenser, there was no leakage, well, other than a, a front shaft seal, but there was no oil coming out anywhere on the front shaft seal, nothing on the pulleys, nothing in front. And when you pull, when, if you did do a flush, when you pull out the evaporator, the evaporator is just filled with oil. You'll have three ounces, or like on this car, might be four ounces of oil, 4.5 ounces of oil. There is nothing in the condenser, there will be nothing in condenser, nothing in receiver dryer, nothing in the lines, especially the discharge lines. The discharge lines out of the compressor will be bone dry like the desert. And you go back to the evaporator and it's full of oil. And uh, somebody just comp commented on the Facebook group that uh, oil doesn't leave the compressor and it doesn't mix with 134. That's how I can tell where somebody was reading old literature. This is a paper person, not a reality person or it's usually a paper person who's a service manager, service writer, or an owner of a car who tells other people to do stuff, but it's not his ass out there doing it and actually physically pulling the evaporator out and pouring the oil out to see that that happens. And uh, so I don't know what world he lives in where oil doesn't travel in his AC systems and oil doesn't get logged up when you uh, have a slow leak and the oil goes down or the refrigerant goes down it pumps the oil out of the compressor logs into the evaporator and doesn't come out. he must live in a different world where that doesn't happen all right guys i'll see you later